Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Jane. I share all things beauty, style, and Amazon related. If you are new here, go ahead and tap the subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you get notifications every time one of my new videos come out. And I am really excited because today I have a hair tutorial that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to walk you through how to create really pretty loose waves for your hair using this guy. So it's already heated up um, and ready to use. So I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial and show y'all what I do. So I actually got this. This is one of my Amazon finds, probably one of my favorite Amazon finds. I got this on Amazon. Um, I want to say it was under $25 and so worth it because the waves that it creates just so pretty. All right. So starting off, I am just going to put a section of my hair up. So I have in hair extensions. And so what I'm going to do is put up the top part of my hair that are currently not being, I guess, tied into my hair extensions. So this top right part right here is actually my real hair. I'm just going to put it up, get it out of the way. And we will get started. Okay, so I just right now I just have my hair split in half. Um, down the back and I'm just going to grab like one inch pieces at a time. I really like that this tool has an adjuster so you can choose which um, heat or which temperature you want the heat to be which how do I say this? <laughs> you can choose the temperature that you want um, so you can kind of control it that way so it's not too hot for your hair or um, not hot enough for your hair that it won't actually work. I'm just working my way down and then it creates just this really pretty loose wave. So I'm gonna grab the next one inch piece of hair. I'm working from the back forward. That's just always how I've curled my hair. I have no idea why. I don't know if it's better than forward back or what, that's just what I do. Okay, so again, starting at the root and then just gradually moving your way down and you wanna make sure that you line up where the curve of the last barrel was. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Okay, so the last barrel curl was right here. So I just wanna make sure that I line that up so that I'm not, I don't have a gap or a straight pieces of hair in between the curl, where the curl is. Okay, so now I've got this side finished. I'm going to move over to this side and then I will do my shorter real hair um, that's up on top right now. Now that I have both sides done, I'm going to move to the top and do the last few short pieces of my actual hair. And then I'm going to share some tips with y'all on how you can actually get these waves to stay or to last for a few days. Okay, so I have one side down and one side to go. Yeah. 
Okay, so I am finished with my waves. I'm gonna share a few tips on how you can make these actually last in your hair for quite a few days. So if you are like me, you don't wash your hair every day, you don't have time to style your hair every day, and that's why I love these waves, in addition to my really big beach waves, which I will do another tutorial on, because they can last you a few days and they can get you by. So when you are doing, when you are using this, uh, curling iron and you are doing your waves you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry so if you have just taken a shower wait until your hair is completely dry before you start curling otherwise it's not likely the curl is not likely to stick in your hair because when the heat meets the wetness it doesn't really do a great job of actually creating that curl the next tip that I want to tell you is going to be to make sure that you use one inch of hair or less if you use more, you'll notice that the more amount of hair that you use, the less amount of heat that gets all of those hairs. And so the curl isn't going to be as tight as it would be as if you were using the one inch sections of hair. So make sure you're using really small sections. I recommend one inch or smaller um, to make sure that all of the hairs that are in the curl or in the curling iron at the time are getting the heat and keep getting the tight curl. And then you want to make sure that you lock it in with a really good hairspray. I have Pureology. I've used Pureology for ever and I love it. Um, I think it works so well. You can either spray it afterwards or you can spray it beforehand. Um, if your hair is not likely to hold curl, which mine usually isn't, I usually like to spray it before I actually do the curl. But in this tutorial, I just did the curl just for the sake of showing y'all how to do it. Um, so I will spray it at the end just to lock the curl in place. And you can always reapply this or reapply your hairspray the following day just to kind of lock that hold in again after you slept on your hair and it's kind of loosened up a little bit too. And don't hesitate to go back through and do some touch up pieces. Like if you have some pieces that go straight on top, you can go back and just touch up a few pieces rather than having to do your full head styled all over again. So that is my tutorial on how to create these waves. I love this wand. Again, it's from Amazon and it's under $25. Like I can't speak enough on it. And I love that the waves last for a few days. They really hold you over. So you're not styling your hair every single day. Um, and I just think that it's just a really pretty loose wave. I'm all about the loose, effortless um, hairstyles and look. So if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, tap that bell. That way you get notifications each and every single time I have a new video come out. I share new videos weekly, all things beauty, style, and Amazon related. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on here next week.